Melbourne Storm have made it three straight wins to start their campaign, producing a near-perfect defensive effort in their 32-2 route of Penrith to end Saturday's NRL action. The other winners on the day were Manly, who dominated the New Zealand Warriors in Christchurch, and Cronulla, who moved up to third on the ladder for now with victory over North Queensland Cowboys. With the temperature almost dropping to zero in Bathurst, the storm froze the Panthers out early by keeping their line intact. Uncharacteristic errors gave the home side 30 looks at the tree line inside the opening 30 minutes and, each time, Melbourne turned them away. In a worrying sign for New South Wales State of Origin coach Brad Fittler, Panthers touched James Maloney and Nathan Cleary looked devoid of ideas in attack. External link, Panthers v Storm Summary In contrast, Storm and Queensland Origin star Cameron Munster scored a try and played a hand in two others in a match-winning performance. Skipper Cameron Smith kicked a perfect six goals from as many attempts. A torrential pre-game downpour made conditions greasy, however that didn't stop the Storm taking their chances when presented. External link, Panthers v Storm stats Munster dubiously opened the scoring when Dallin Wada Nazel is Niaf and Dylan Edwards failed to defuse his cover. Storm winger Josh Adokar appeared to have nudged Wadden Azela's Niak in the build-up, but the bunker overlooked the incident and awarded the try. The Panthers weren't without their chances to respond, but couldn't find a way through a seemingly impenetrable defense. In contrast, the Storm didn't get their first crack inside the Panthers' red zone until the 31st minute, but still took a six-point half-time lead with a Smith penalty goal. External link, Panthers v Storm chalkboard Craig Bellamy's men cranked up in the second half, beginning with a Brody Croft try that came from a monster bomb fluffed by Edwards. It was a horror night for the Panthers fullback, who finished with six errors. Otto Carr, Marion Seve and Jesse Bromwich completed the route with tries in the final 30 minutes, as the storm moved provisionally to the top of the ladder. Manly opens account with win over Warriors Tom Javojevic's scintillating return has kick-started Manly's season with a 46-12 dismantling of the Warriors in Christchurch. In his first appearance since shaking off a pre-season hamstring injury, Javojevic bagged two tries and set up two more for Daly Cherry Evans to hand the Sea Eagles an emphatic first win in De Hasseler's second coming as coach. The Warriors couldn't respond to the occasion in the first major sporting event in Christchurch since the mosque shootings, succumbing to a second successive heavy loss. External link, Sea Eagles v Warriors summary They lacked attacking spark and were unable to contain NSW State of Origin star Trobojvic, who made nine tackle breaks, three line breaks and had heavy involvement in five of the eight Sea Eagles tries.
Hassler predicted Trojevic's return would lift his teammates and that proved the case for halfback Sherry Evans, who backed the fullback up to bag two tries and landed seven goals in a 22-point haul. The result left both teams with a win and two losses. The Warriors faced serious problems after a defensive display that matched last week's disjointed showing against the West Tigers. External link, see Eagles v Warriors stats New Zealand props Martin Topow and Eden Fanua Blake led an impressive manly forward effort, allowing their star teammates to shine and cap a week in which they endeared themselves to Christchurch by engaging with the community. It was an inauspicious start for Trebojevic who was partly to blame for the Warriors' opening try, palming a grubber kick into the path of the chasing Isaiah Papali. The classy fullback made a man soon afterwards, giving early momentum to a seven-tackle set and finishing it by barging through a stranded Roger Toy Vosashek. External link, see Eagles v Warriors chalkboard Jabojevic set up Cherry Evans when he burst onto a Fanua Blake offload and the halfback turned provider with a grubber kick for Joel Thompson. Isaac Luke stopped the rot with a close-range Warriors try but Manus Fine who put the Sea Eagles 24-12 up at the break with a stepping try from dummy half. After absorbing Warriors pressure throughout the third quarter, Trebojevic and Cherry Evans completed their doubles before wingers Jorge Tafua and Ruben Garrick rounded out the scoring against a disheveled defense. Sharks trounced the Cowboys in town to pro Noah Sharks have put on a show for skipper Paul Gallen's club record-breaking 329th match beating North Queensland 42-16 to make up for an otherwise disappointing night for the milestone man. Gallen left the field late in the first half with a suspected rib injury and did not return, but he moved one game ahead of Sharks great Andrew Riddingshausen's previous mark of 328 first-grade appearances. Even without him, the Sharks pack had the upper hand. External link, Cowboys v Sharks summary The hosts began the game in Townsville without star lock Jason Tomalolo and it showed after a second half blitz from Cronulla. The Sharks marched the Cowboys upfield at will, finishing the match with 30 tackle busts to 12. The visitors began strongly and turned their possession and pressure advantage into the game's first try, halfback Chad Townsend reaching out after receiving a perfect gallon offload close to the line. But as the possession turned, so did the game. Cowboys utility for John Asiata showed impressive footwork to break through the line, before Captain Michael Morgan threw an inside pass to prop Jordan McLean who crashed over the Cronulla defense. External link, Cowboys v Sharks stats The Cowboys led shortly after when Sasai Fecky bungled a Tamer Martin Grubber, allowing the North Queensland fullback to pounce on his own kick. But whatever Cronulla coach John Morris said at halftime had immediate impact as the Sharks returned a different side, shocking the Cowboys with 30 unanswered points. Second rower Britton Nakora jumped on a Sean Johnson kick, then a blistering run from hooker Jaden Braley split the defense for Townsend to score his second.
external link, Cowboys v Sharks chalkboard Josh Dugan bashed his way over, center partner Josh Moore snapped a double and Blake Braley scored on the siren to complete the Cowboys nightmare. North Queensland will host Canberra next Saturday, while the Sharks are away to Parramatta. NRL Ladder External Link, NRL 2019 Ladder Op More Stories from New South Wales, 